All right, welcome, welcome. So today we are gonna be doing the Fawn Mandala bag. We have this absolutely beautiful wave pattern that we're gonna be adding to it. Um, the bottom of this is gonna be a mandala. This is a beautiful market bag or just purse, however you wanna use it. The strap is super simple. Um, I utilized, and I'm going to move this out of the way and apologize for my dirty desk. I stained it this weekend. Um, so if you're new to the channel, so sorry that that is your introduction, but I'm going to be using Karen Cotton Funnel Cakes today. <clears throat> um, I'm obsessed with this yarn. I'm super sad it discontinued. You really can be using any type of number four weighted yarn. Um, it doesn't have to be cotton, it can be acrylic. And I utilized a six millimeter hook with this, even though this yarn called for a five millimeter. And so to get started, we are gonna be using the six millimeter hook. Again, the yarn calls for a five millimeter. It's a number four weight. And this has 425 yards in this. I used about 390 for this pattern. I also had scissors, my number six, millimeter hook here, a darning needle, and I had some stitch markers. I needed about four of these. So that's what you're going to need to get started for this. About 400 yards of cotton or acrylic yarn, number four weight. And let's go ahead and move on to row one. All right, so to get started, I have my six and a half millimeter. <clears throat> zoom in a little bit here for you we are going to do a slip knot go ahead and get that on our hook okay and so we're going to chain up five one two three four and five now you're going to join these together what i do is pick up the side loop and the back bump and do a slip stitch Pull through all three of those loops, okay? So, for row one, oh shoot. All right, we're gonna do round one. So, what you're gonna do is a slip stitch, okay? I took that behind my fingers in front of, made a little X, and I'm gonna pull that tail through, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get this on our hook, and we're gonna chain five. All right, oop, <laughs> don't do what I did and pull the wrong side. All right, I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to join together. So pick up the side loop as well as the back bump and you're gonna slip stitch, maybe. All right, now, <clears throat> we are going to chain up one and then put 16 double crochets into this circle. All right, so go ahead and do yarn over, go into the loop, into the circle, and do a double crochet. You're going to do 15 more of those. Moving on to round two, <clears throat> I've got my 16 double crochets. I'm going to pop my hook into the top of my very first double crochet, both loops and I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now, I'm going to chain up four, one, two, three, and four. This is going to serve as not only a double crochet, but a chain one. And so what we're gonna do now is do a double crochet into each stitch, okay, one, with a chain one after. And do that all the way around. For row two, you're gonna have 16 double crochets and 16 chain spaces. Moving on to row three, I have my 16 double crochets, my 16 chain spaces. What I'm gonna do is count up to the third chain in that chain four. I'm gonna pick up not only the side stitch, but also the back bun bump of that chain, that third chain, and I'm gonna slip stitch, okay? So now I'm gonna slip stitch into the chain space, okay? And <clears throat> we're going to chain one and then do a single crochet into that same chain space. Okay, give me a second to pull my yarn. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to do a single crochet into the chain space. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Chaining three, one, two, and three. 
and doing a single crochet into the chain one space from round two. So do that all the way around. You're gonna have 16 single crochets total and 16 chain three spaces. Moving on to round four, I have my 16 single crochets and I have 16 chain three spaces. What I'm gonna do is go into the top of my very first single crochet. Ah, give me a second. <clears throat> into both loops and we're gonna slip stitch. Okay, now from here, what you're going to do is slip stitch into the chain three space, okay? And you're going to chain one and put three double crochets into that chain space. One, oop, pull my yarn, two, and three, okay? Now, what you're gonna do all the way around is go ahead and put three double crochets into each chain three space and at the end of this round you're going to have 48 double crochets okay moving on to round five <clears throat> i have my 48 double crochets three of them over top of each of my chain threes and what I'm going to do is slip stitch into my very first, not your chain space, but your very first double crochet. All right. Now, what we're also going to do is go backwards and do a reverse slip stitch behind that double crochet. Okay. Okay. Now chain up four. One, two, three, and four. Okay and you're going to put a double crochet into that same space between the clusters. This is going to serve as your first V stitch, okay? And now what we're gonna do is jump over to between these two clusters and do a double crochet, a chain two, and an another double crochet in that same space between our clusters to complete that V-stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around, a double crochet, chain two, double crochet in between all of your, your clusters, and you'll have 16 V-stitches at the end, including this first one that we made. Moving on to round six, I have my 16 V-stitches, and <clears throat> we're going to slip stitch into the second um, chain from our chain four. So we're gonna go into the side of it and the back bump of that second stitch, okay? And we're gonna slip stitch. And that's gonna make that V-stitch a lot more prominent. So go ahead and slip stitch into the chain two space of that V-stitch. You're gonna chain up three and do a double crochet into the same chain two space of that V-stitch, okay? Now, for this row around, you're gonna be doing all double crochets. We're gonna put a double crochet, two double crochets, excuse me, between our V-stitches, so one and two, and we're gonna put two double crochets in the middle of our V-stitches, one and two, okay? So all the way around, it's gonna look like this, where you have two double crochets between all your V-stitches and two over top of the chain twos in the middle of your V-stitches. So at the end of this, you're gonna have 64 double crochets, holy cow. So that's gonna be all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Moving on to round seven, I have my 64 double crochets, two in the middle of my V-stitches and two in between my V-stitches. <clears throat> we are going to pick up the the chain, the third chain of our chain three that made our first double crochet. We're going to do not only the side loop, but also that back bump for that flush look. Okay. Slip stitch through there. We're going to actually slip stitch over this first double crochet or the second double crochet in the middle of that v-stitch okay and you're going to slip stitch in between the two double crochets in the middle of v-stitch and the two double crochets between your v-stitches so go in this space here and slip stitch again okay chain one 
pull it kind of tight and then you're going to do a single crochet in that space okay go ahead and chain three one two three and we've already done a row like this we're going to do a single crochet between our clusters pull that tight and chain three again one two three a single crochet between our clusters and chain three all the way around so at the end of this you're going to have 32 single crochets and you're going to have 32 chain three spaces moving on to round eight i have my 32 chain spaces chain three spaces and i have my 32 single crochets i ended with a chain three and so what I'm going to do is slip stitch into the top of the very first single crochet, both loops. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to slip stitch into the chain three space. Chain up three. One, two, three. Go ahead and put two double crochets into that same chain three space. And what you're going to do for the rest of the round is put three double crochets into each chain three space and skip your single crochets. So one, two, and three. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. When you come to the end of row or round eight, you're going to have 96 double crochets. All right, moving on to round nine. I have my 96 double crochets. I put three over top of every single one of my chain three spaces. We're going to go into that third chain of the first chain three into the side as well as the back bump. And we're going to slip stitch. Now, what you're going to do is go ahead and single crochet. So you're going to slip stitch behind and do a reverse slip stitch, okay? into that space before your chain three of the previous row. All right, now you're going to chain one and go down in there, make that single crochet, okay? And from here, we're going to be doing a chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to single crochet between your three double crochet clusters. And that's how you're going to do this whole entire round, chaining four, and single crocheting between the clusters. So at the end of row eight, you will have 32 single crochets and 32 chain four spaces. Moving on to round 10. I have my 32 single crochets and I just finished up my 32nd chain four space and you guessed it we're going to slip stitch into the top of that very first single crochet picking up both loops <clears throat> and we're going to slip stitch into the chain three space or the chain four space excuse me chain up three one two Ooh. goodness I'm slippery today three and do two more double crochets into that space. Excuse me, three more double crochets. One, two, and three. So this first chain four space has four double crochets when you count the chain four, the chain three. Into the next one, we're gonna do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now, all the way around, what you're going to do is place four double crochets and then three double crochets. So I usually count to four. One, two, three, and four. And then I go on and I say five, six, seven. One, or five, six, and four seven and that makes seven double crochets over two different chain four spaces so you're going to alternate doing four double crochets followed by three double crochets all the way around it's just easier for me to count to seven by saying four double crochets and then five six seven into my second chain four space you don't have to do that you might have your own way but at the end of Round 10, you're going to have 112 double crochets, so you should have <clears throat> 16 sets of 7 double crochets, 4 and 3, okay? 
Moving on to round 11, I have 112 double crochets. Um, I did four double crochets and then three double crochets into my chain four spaces. And now we're gonna slip stitch. So we're gonna pick up that side and the back bump in our chain three space from the beginning, our chain three double crochet. Now what you're gonna do is slip stitch in between the clusters again. Okay, the reverse slip stitch. You're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four. You're gonna do a double crochet in the same space between your clusters. Oop, give me a second, I twisted my hook. <clears throat> Give me a second, got all twisted here. So double crochet into that space, and this completes a V-stitch, okay? This is gonna be our first V-stitch. Now all the way around, you're gonna do V-stitches between your clusters. So double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet. And you're gonna have 32 V-stitches at the end of this round, okay? So V-stitches between all your clusters. Moving on to round 12, this is going to be a bunch of double crochet, so easy round here. We're going to slip stitch into our third chain of our chain four from the previous round. We're going to go into that side and back bump and slip stitch, okay? Ah, hold on, my yarn's stuck in the drawer. <laughs> All right, and then you're going to actually slip stitch into the chain two space of the V-stitch, Chain one, and you're gonna put two double crochets in that V-stitch, so one and two. Now, you're gonna do two double crochets between each V-stitch and two double crochets in the chain two space of each V-stitch all the way around, one and two. So go ahead and do that all the way around and we'll meet you in a second. All right, we're gonna move on to round 13 and you should have 128 double crochets at the end of this round. We're going to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet, okay? You're gonna chain one and do a half double crochet into that same space, okay? Now go ahead and do 25 more half double crochets into each stitch all the way down, okay? All right, so I have 26 half double crochets, and in my 27th, I'm gonna go ahead and do two half double crochets for an increase, okay? Now, what you're gonna do is repeat that four times for four increases. On your last repeat, you're going to do 22 half double crochets, and that'll leave you with your last stitch. You're gonna put your two half double crochets into the last stitch for a fifth, additional stitch and that's going to leave you with 133 stitches all the way around for round 13. Moving on to round 14, we are going to be slip stitching into the top of this half double crochet, this first one. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, Four. This serves as a treble crochet. Then you're going to yarn over twice and skip a stitch doing another treble crochet four times. Oops. And I'll do that with you again. Yarn over twice, skip a stitch, go into the next one, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're gonna do this two more times. Skip a stitch, go into the next. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Last time, skip a stitch, go into the next one. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. All right, now into the next two stitches, you're gonna put five treble crochets in each. So yarn over twice, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, 
four. <clears throat> and five. Now that completes the first section of our repeat. So in the second stitch, we're going to do five more triple crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you've got 10 treble crochets. And now what you're gonna do is into the next stitch, you're gonna do an, one treble crochet. One. All right. <clears throat> now, you're going to yarn over twice, you're gonna skip a stitch and go into the second one eight times. So one. Skipping a stitch. Two. Skip a stitch, three. Skip a stitch, four. Skip a stitch, five. I'm gonna move over. Skip a stitch, six. Skip a stitch, seven. Got a little caught on my yarn. Skip a stitch and eight. Okay. So that's gonna be your repeat. <clears throat> we'll do it one more time together. All right. So go ahead and yarn over twice and you're gonna put into the next two stitches five treble crochets. So one. Two. Three, four, five. All right, we're going to do five more treble crochets into the next stitch. One, two, three. four, and five. You're going to do one treble crochet into the next stitch. And now you're going to repeat the next eight times where we skip a stitch, all right, and go into the second one. So one, skip, two, Skip, three, skip, four, skip, five, skip, seven, skip, eight. Okay, so repeat that five more times. Um, your fifth repeat, though, you're only going to do a skip treble four times instead of eight, okay? Okay, so I'll go ahead and finish up <clears throat> round 14 with you. I have seven of these little shell sections where we put five treble crochets into two different stitches. And then I have <clears throat> my little sections with nine treble crochets between the shells. So coming up on the end here, I've just completed my um, second set of five treble crochets. We're going to yarn over twice, go into the next stitch. Let me zoom in just a touch more for you and do a treble crochet. Okay. Then we're going to skip a stitch, do another treble crochet. Skip a stitch and do a treble crochet. Skip a stitch and do a treble crochet. 
And that gives us four treble crochets at the end. And we have five from the beginning that we already did. And what you're going to do is go ahead and go into the fourth chain of your original chain four. Go ahead and pick up the back bump as well and slip stitch. Just like that. And that completes round 14 and you should have 133 treble crochets total. Moving on to row 15. All right, so we've already slip stitched. We're going to chain one and then you're going to do a half double crochet into that same space. Now this row, you're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 133 half double crochets, okay? Row 16 is gonna be a repeat of row 14, and row 17 is gonna be a repeat of row 15, and I will meet you for row 18. Moving into row 18, so I have 133 half double crochets at the end of row 17. I just completed my repeat of row 14 and 15 for row 16 and 17. We're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet. And we're actually going to slip stitch a second time, the second half double crochet. And we're going to chain up four. Now, we're going to do a skip treble three times. So one, skip treble, two, and skip treble for a third time. All right, so this is where our repeat starts. We're going to skip a stitch and go into the next one. Four, five treble crochets into this stitch as well as the one after it. And that's gonna make your treble shell again. Four, and five. Now into the next one, you're gonna do another five trebles. One, two, three, four, Ooh, got a little loose there, and five. Okay, so I've got, this is the beginning of my repeat where I have a skip stitch over here. On the far right, I put five trebles into this stitch and five trebles into the next stitch. Now this next move, you're gonna do eight times. So yarn over twice, oops. And we're gonna skip and do a treble eight times. So one, excuse me, skip a stitch, two, We're gonna skip a stitch, three, skip a stitch, four, skip a stitch, five, skip a stitch, six, skip a stitch, seven, Skip a stitch, eight. Okay. Now you'll skip the next stitch, put five double crochets into the next two and continue on with your repeat. So you will repeat this six times and you'll have seven of your little 10 treble crochet shells. And in between each of your 10 treble crochets, you'll have eight treble crochets. For a total at the end of this, 126 trebles. And so, all right, we're gonna wrap up row 18. I've just completed my seventh little shell of 10 treble crochets in my two different stitches. I'm gonna skip a stitch and do one treble, skip a stitch, do a second treble, skip a stitch and do a third treble.
and we're gonna skip a stitch and do our last treble. And that's gonna make for eight trebles in between our little shell sections, okay? And so that leaves us with one stitch in between our original chain four and our last treble. And you can go ahead and pick up the side and the back bump of the fourth chain in your chain four that made your first treble crochet. Make sure it's real tight and you're just gonna slip stitch through that. I am going to also add that right now for row 19, you are going to do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and you're gonna have 126 half double crochets at the end of round 19 and then we will do round 20 together. All right, so I've wrapped up row 19 with 160 half double crochets and moving on to round 20. You're gonna slip stitch into the first half double crochet. We're gonna chain up four. One, two, three, and four. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna skip treble three times. So, skip treble. Skip treble, and skip treble. Now you're going to skip the next stitch, and you're going to put five trebles into the following two. This will make my fifth one. And I'm gonna go straight into the next stitch and I'm gonna do five more. I'm gonna apologize, you're gonna hear my roommate moving around. It is like spring cleaning <laughs> as I'm recording this all around us. Everybody's moving and cleaning getting ready for college to come in this fall. Hit it five, I need one more and that's it. All right, so now this is where our repeat is gonna start. Let me turn my work for you guys. And we're gonna do a skip treble three times. So skip, treble, two, and skip treble for a third time. Okay, now <clears throat> we're going to skip the next stitch and then treble the following two together. So put your hook on, you're gonna pull up your loop, you're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops and leave two loops on your hook. Yarn over twice, go into the exact, the very next stitch, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three. Now, you're gonna skip the next stitch and do treble skip three times. Skip the next stitch and do our second treble. We're gonna skip the next stitch and do our treble, our third one. Okay. And then we're going to skip that last, that next stitch and do five trebles into the following two. And that'll complete our repeat. You're going to do this five times around and then I'll help you close out round 20. do five trebles into the next one and that will complete our repeat. <clears throat> Is that three or four? That was three. And do four. And my last one. Okay, so you're gonna repeat this all the way around 
where you start over here and you do skip treble three times. You're gonna skip, do two trebles together, skip treble one, two, three times, skip a stitch, and then do five trebles into the top of each shell. And you'll repeat that five times and then um, we'll come over here and I will help you close this out. All right, I've just finished up my fifth repeat. <clears throat> and so now what you're gonna do is do a skip treble three times. So skip treble the first one. I'm gonna do a skip treble into this for our second one. Skip treble one more time. And now you're going to actually skip into a double crochet. And you're gonna slip stitch into the fourth chain of your chain four. And that's gonna complete our last two trebles together. Doo, doo, doo. Make sure you're picking up the side and the back bump of that chain space so it looks flush. And that makes our <clears throat> um, last two treble together and so at the end of this round you're going to have 112 trebles and seven two trebles together including this double crochet treble together all right and so you're going to do a half double crochet in each of these stitches all the way around where i'm going to start is in the top of my very first actual treble i'm going to slip stitch into that and i'm going to chain one and do a half double crochet did not yarn over properly. And for row 21, you're gonna place a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And that, all right, so to end round 20, what we're gonna do is put our last half double crochet into the top of that double crochet, okay? And then you're just going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. So you should have, 119 half double crochets because at the end of round 20 you would have had 112 treble crochets and seven two trebles together moving on to round 22 we are going to slip stitch into the top of our first half double crochet you should have 119 half double crochets you're going to chain up three this time and this is going to serve as our first treble together now yarn over twice and go into the next stitch and you're gonna complete a two trebles together, okay? Now, skip the next one, and you're gonna do two trebles together. You're going to skip a stitch and do a treble, okay? Now, we're gonna complete our repeat, starting from this point. So you yarn over twice, you're gonna skip a stitch and do five trebles into the next two stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. Do five into the next stitch. And five. All right. So now you're going to skip and do a treble. So skip this stitch, go into the next one and do a treble. You're going to skip a stitch and do two trebles together. skip a stitch and do three trebles together so one we're gonna leave two loops on go into the next stitch leave three loops on and go into the last stitch and complete it so when you pull through you'll pull through four loops okay 
skip a stitch and do two trebles together. And you'll skip a stitch and do a treble. And that completes your repeat. You're gonna repeat that six more times. And I will need you to close out the row. All right, so I'm on my sixth repeat. I've done my five trebles into my two stitches to get started. I'm gonna yarn over twice and skip a stitch. Do your treble. Yarn over twice, skip a stitch, and do two trebles together. All right, so now we have two trebles together at the beginning that are part of our three trebles together. And we have two stitches left. So you're gonna yarn over twice, you're gonna skip a stitch and go into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now, I would like you to go into the side of your first chain in your chain three and do a slip stitch, okay? That's still gonna leave three loops on your hook. All right, then you're going to go into the top of your chain three, do a slip stitch through two loops, leaving three loops on your hook. And then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops, go into the top of the first treble of, that you made after that chain three and do a slip stitch. Okay, and that's gonna make that three treble together. And you're like, oh, Trixie, it's not right. That doesn't look right. I promise it'll com come together when we get to the end of row 23. So at the end of row 22, you should have seven of your three trebles together. You should have 14 two trebles together and 84 trebles. Moving on to round 23, okay. And what you're gonna do <clears throat> is slip stitch into the top of that next two treble together, okay? Go ahead and chain one, and you're gonna do a double crochet into that same space, okay? Do a double crochet into the next stitch. And now you're gonna do, this is where your repeat is gonna start. You're gonna do three half double crochets. So one, two, and three. Now you're gonna do four single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna turn my word. You're gonna do three more half double crochets into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And then you're gonna do five double crochets into the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. We'll do it one more time together. You can do three half double crochets. One, two, three, four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Three half double crochets. One. Two. And three. And then we're gonna do five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. 
repeat that all the way around. You are gonna finish this round with only three double crochets because we started with two over here. So these last three stitches are gonna be double crochets. All right, and then you'll slip stitch to the top of your first double crochet. All right, so coming up on this last three treble together, we have a funny little section where we have too many stitches due to the way that it ended for round 22. And so I'm gonna help you with this last double crochet. We're gonna yarn over, you're gonna go into the top of the first stitch, the first of the last two stitches, pull up your loop, okay? Then you're gonna go into the next one, pull up a loop, and pull through that next loop so you still have three on there. Then complete your double crochet. Okay, now <clears throat> you're gonna go into the top of the very first double crochet and complete a slip stitch. And that will complete round 23. And at the end of this round, you're going to have 35 double crochets, 42 half double crochets, and 28 single crochets. All right, so round 24 is going to be a repeat of round 23. You're gonna get started with those two double crochets and I'll help you with that. So chain one, and then you're gonna do a double crochet into the same. You're gonna do a double crochet into the next stitch and then begin your repeat where you have three half double crochets, four single crochets, three half double crochets, and five double crochets. And I will help you close out the round. All right, so I've just completed my last half double crochet and I have three stitches left. I'm gonna do those three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And now we're gonna slip stitch into the top of our very first double crochet, both loops, and that will complete row 24. So once again, you should have, let's see here. Um, 28 single crochets, 42 half double crochets, and 35 double crochets for round 24. Moving on to round 25. And so we've already slip stitched to the top of our sti first stitch. We are gonna chain one, and we're gonna do a half double crochet into that same space. Now this is a decrease round. We have 105 stitches total. We're actually gonna decrease by six. So I want you to do 13 more half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, So you'll have a 14 half double crochets. In your 15th and 16th stitches, we're going to be decreasing. So yarn over, go into that 15th stitch, pull up your loop. Go into the next stitch, which is your 16th stitch, pull up your loop, and now you're gonna pull through all four. And that's gonna decrease. You'll do this where you'll do 14 half double crochets and decreasing at your 15 and 16th six times. And so we'll go from 105 stitches down to 99 half double crochets at the end of round 25. All right, so to close up round 25, I had nine half double crochets after my last decrease. And we do need to put a half double crochet into the top of that chain three to get our 99th stitch. And then you're just gonna slip stitch into the top of your first half double crochet. And that will complete your 99 stitches for round 25. Round 26. So we are gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four. And you're going to do a double crochet. You're gonna skip a stitch and do a double crochet. Chain one skip a stitch and do a double crochet. And you're gonna do this all the way around where you're chaining one, skipping a stitch and doing a double crochet. And you will literally do this all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to have 50 chain spaces and 49 double crochets and you will slip stitch into the third chain of this chain four. So you'll slip stitch into the back, the back bump and the side 
bit like we have every other row. Um, and then we'll move on to round 27. All right, so I've just double crocheted and chained one. I have one last stitch left. And what I'm gonna do is skip it and I'm going to slip stitch into the side as well as the back bump of my third chain in my chain four. And that will complete round, is this 26 that we're on? And so again, you should have 49 double crochets and 50 chain spaces. Moving on to round 27. All right, so we already slip stitched to, <clears throat> we already slip stitched. So what you're gonna do is actually slip stitch into that chain space between those double crochets, okay? I want you to chain up three, one, two, and three. Yarn over and do a double crochet into that ch same chain space, okay? Now, this is where a repeat is gonna start. And what you're gonna do is do a single, or a double crochet into that chain space, just one double crochet. Now into the next chain space, you're gonna do two double crochets. One and two. And you'll repeat that all the way around where you put one double crochet and then two double crochets into your chain one spaces from the previous round. You will end with one double crochet in this chain space since we already did the two double crochets to start with. You're gonna slip stitch into the top there. All right, I've just put my last double crochet in and I have 74 double crochets. We're going to slip stitch into the side as well as the back bump of that chain three space to complete this round. Moving on to round 28. <clears throat> You're going to chain one and put a single crochet into that same space and go ahead and put a single crochet into the top of the next double crochet and now you're literally going to do 74 single crochets you're just going to be putting single crochets into the top of each stitch all right so i've come to the end of this round and i'm going to slip stitch into the top of my first stitch all right pull that nice and tight and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach my strap in this section. So I'm going to pull about a yard's worth just to leave me some extra room. I'm going to pull about a yard's worth of yarn and fasten that off. So um, <clears throat> this is going to help it so that when you attach the side of our strap that won't have yarn, we'll have a space or a bit of yarn left over here from round 28 that we can just attach our strap with and have one in to weave in. That's less possibility of our work getting damaged in the market or coming loose, okay? I am gonna stitch mark this stitch just so that the yarn stays nice and tight and I'm gonna set it off to the side so that we can get started. Again, that's about a yard's worth or an arm's length worth of yarn, should be plenty, and then we'll weave it in back and forth at the end after we attach our strap. All right, so moving on to our strap, we are gonna do a slip knot to get started. Um, doesn't matter how long your tail is because you can just sew that in and we are, you can attach your yarn later you are going to use the same size hook or you can go down half a millimeter depending on how tight you want your strap to be okay so we're going to chain six one two three four five six now go ahead and put five single crochets working into the second from the hook so one we're going to do two, three, four, and five. So this will be row one for the first side of our strap. Now, um, I'm going to leave my tail out. You might crochet over it. I just am going to attach my yarn for the other side of my strap to this tail and make it a lot easier so I have less to weave in. So now I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to chain one 
and I'm going to work five single crochets into the top of each of those single crochets. And you're going to repeat this until you have 25 rows of single crochets with five single crochets in each row. Okay. And that will be the first side of your strap, 25 rows of single crochets that have five rows in them total. Um, so there we go. All right, so I've got 25 single crochet rows of five single crochets. I am going to fasten off. I'm going to leave about six to eight inches worth of tail. And I am going to pull my hook through. And <clears throat> it is going to be best for you to go ahead and weave in this tail. I always weave in about three times. So I'm going to pass it because this is the strap. I'm going to pass it all the way down to the other side. Do, do, do. Get her in there. And then I'm actually going to flip over my work and pass it through the other side. Make sure you're picking up both loops in each one of those stitches. And let's go ahead and pass it through one last time just for stability thinking of when people tell you if you ever come face to face with a crocodile or an alligator you want to run in a zigzag gives you more support okay more safety net all right so go ahead and you can leave that tail there now what we're going to do is take our yarn over here okay we're going to slip stitch it together or slip knot it together okay and I like to pull with each of my little tails, I like to pull on both, both bits of yarn. So now grab the other one on both bits of yarn. All right, now go into the base of that first stitch that we had, pull up your hook, chain one, and go back into that same space and make a single crochet. Ah, it could be a little bit of tight because of your tail. Now, I'm going to leave my knot there and my tails and I'm going to go into the base of my second stitch and I'm going to do another single crochet over top of all of that. And that's just going to get it in there. So let's do our third single crochet same way over top of our tails. Go into the base of our fourth one. Do a single crochet and into the base of our last one. Now that one you might actually have to make yourself be able to pick up both loops just because of the way that that uh, chain five started or that row started on the other side. Go ahead and make sure your single crochet is around both of your tails, okay? I'm gonna leave those out because we are gonna put a border around this and we'll be able to cover those up a little bit more. Now chain one and go ahead just like on the other side you're going to have 25 rows but do not fasten off okay so this is row two on this side and i am going to have five single crochets in each row all the way down and when you get to the down the end of this side you should have 50 single crochet rows total do not fasten off all right so i have 50 rows total that were worked out from the middle i just completed my 25th row on the second side i'm going to chain one and put a single crochet back into the same space and now what i'm going to do is actually in each one of these little holes at the end of every row i'm going to place a single crochet and so <clears throat> you should have 50 single crochets down the side of this first side of the strap when you come to the corner all right, so I fibbed a little bit. You should have 48 stitches, not 50. Um, and so I have this really nice clean edge down the first side, and I've actually got 47 stitches into the ends of each of these rows. And so now what I'm gonna do is put my 48th into the top of that very first stitch on our next side chain one and you're going to do a single crochet into that same space and that'll be your first single crochet of your five on the edge okay so 
number three, number four, and then number five is going to be a little tight only because we did weave in our end. Okay, go ahead and chain one and you're going to put a stitch into that same space to form that nice clean corner. Um, so then repeat what you did here with these two sides going down the edge with 48 stitches, turning your corner here in this very first stitch and completing it, okay? So you should have 48 stitches on the sides and still five stitches on both ends. Okay, so I have my nice border around my strap. She's looking super cute, um, nice and straight borders. And what I'm gonna do is actually slip stitch into the very first stitch from our, our first edge that we worked on, okay? And once again, go ahead and cut off about a yard worth of yarn so that we can attach our strap to our bag, okay? Go ahead and I would leave it so that your hook can stay in its little loop. You don't necessarily need to pull through as we are gonna start at this end to attach our strap to our bag. Okay, so I have attached my straps to my bag using stitch markers. And I have 32 stitches on either side of the strap. So you have 74 stitches total. The bag has 10 stitches if you combine both sides. So that's gonna leave you with an even 32 on either side. And so now <clears throat> to get started, and we're gonna do both sides of this strap the exact same way. I have my other corner already attached. And what I'm gonna do since my yarn from my tail is left over and still on my hook, or I've put my hook back up on it, I'm gonna count over five. So one, two, three, four, five, okay? And I'm going to pull up the first loop, not both loops, only the first, okay? And I'm going to slip stitch through that stitch as well as the loop on my hook, okay? Now, I'm gonna turn my work it'll make it easier and now I'm going to slip stitch in that same loop just just one not both and I'm going to pick up one loop on the bag and I'm going to do that five times so one I'm going to go into only one loop pick up the one on the bag and slip stitch, okay? Do it again. This is your first time attaching straps with me. Um, this works, I like how sturdy this is. You are gonna have way more tail than you needed. Let's do four. I like to have extra just in case. We're gonna do that. Now go ahead and remove your stitch marker. It should be attached at the corner is usually how I attach it. Oh, I lost my arm. I'm going to do my last one. Okay. And now, what we're going to do is actually pick up another one. Where our chain space was, we're also going to be slip stitching into the sixth stitch over. Okay. And so, go ahead and slip stitch through that. Now, I like to chain one and let's flip our work. Make sure that your, your tail and your hook is gonna go under the strap, okay? And flip your work. And now we have the other side of those V stitches that we haven't worked into. And what you're gonna do is go ahead and pick up the other side of that chain space that we did an extra slip stitch or six slip 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 stitch slip stitch and you're gonna slip stitch through that. Okay. Then we're gonna do all of our slip stitches through both the bag and the strap on the opposite side, picking up that individual loop. And again, you'll do this exact same method on the other side. All right. So now 
I've come to my chain space. I'm going to pick up my loop, go into the next one. And I'm actually going to do this little space here. It kind of looks funny where my slip stitch was. I just want another another secure spot for the corner. If you don't have that, you don't have to do that. But I am going to do mine. Okay. Now you'll... <clears throat> so that's what the outside ridge is going to look like. Super pretty. Um, gives it a little extra fancy detail. Now I'm actually going to go into the loop in the back, which is that side, um, that very first loop that we did, and I'm going to slip stitch and pull through all the way. And I know that we have way too much yarn. Um, that's just how I am. I like to always have too much. Um, so you should have quite a bit. And then what you'll do is weave in this yarn. And I recommend weaving it in about three times. Just like we did um, with our other end. That way that we know it's nice and secure. And so that is going to be your bag. I'm going to wash this in the washer with a um, medium heat water. Or like a warm. And then I will dry it on a medium heat. We cannot block something that is this shape. And so that is the way that I'm going to do it. I'm going to tumble dry it. I'll wash it in a garment bag so that it doesn't get all torn up by the washer. And um, drying it on that me low to medium heat is going to set the cotton so that it won't um, stretch out. So thank you so much for working this absolutely beautiful bag with me. And I can't wait to see all the yarns that you guys used.